What's up, buddy? What's up with that shirt, man? <laughs> yeah, you, you know, what? You don't like it? Oh, uh, you know, it. it's it's. I, I can, you know, those colors are pretty loud, man. I can hear them all the way over here. <laughs> all right, dude. Uh, I, I don't know. I like. It. I thought it was cool. Um, sometimes you gotta buy something nice for yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice is the word for it. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> oh man. James, how are you, buddy? Ah, uh, not too bad, not too bad, you know, been keeping busy. How's everything with you? Yeah. It's good, man, it's good. Uh, I'm glad we're not talking about Star Citizen anymore, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, but, um, it's it's kind of yesterday now, so we'll, we'll let that run its course. Yeah, going. sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll, wait for, we'll wait for something else to happen. Um... But, you know, while we were doing that, I think we missed out on a couple of small things. And by small things, I mean big things. There's a lot of really awesome games coming out, and I think we should get into it. Um, And I think this is uh, is cool, because it's always holiday season, holiday season. Like, everybody has their wish list, what games they want to play, what games are coming next. And uh, this for sure, uh, I mean, for me, on... You know, I'm going Monday at midnight. I'm picking up the new WWE game. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> dude, that thing so I'm, looks like, awesome. I'm, I am the walking def- definition of uh, the outcast nerd. I love my wrestling and I absolutely adore my video games. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'll wear a shirt and I'll wear a shirt that looks like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. Here's the thing. So a couple years ago, uh, THQ, which was the company that was doing all the WWE games, they went out of business, and uh, the WWE franchise was in limbo for a short period of time, and then was picked up by 2K Gaming. And when people say 2K Gaming, they think basketball, or you know, they think those kind of yeah. games. And when now when when I hear 2K gaming, I go, oh, wrestling, because it's it's unbelievable uh, what they've done with it, uh, the franchise itself. Like it, it, they motion captured, like they brought them to their their company, motion captured a bunch of these guys oh, doing yeah. their moves. It looks like they're really doing it, and uh, it looks like they're really like, and you create your own wrestler. Everything's awesome. Uh, oh, I, I'm dude. really excited about that. The whole customating your face <laughs> and being able to like, you yeah, know, just do whatever you want. I mean, it's like and designing your own belt. I mean, that's awesome. Designing your own title. Oh, it's yeah, that's, it's unbelievable. I mean, that's a new feature, but yeah, that's so cool. Like, I can't wait for the new one to come out. I the 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 downloadable content, and I'm like such not a subscriber to. Uh, downloadable content and we should probably get into that that would be something to talk about but like um, the downloadable content for this game on the last series was phenomenal uh, 2k15 but 2k16 I think is gonna kill it and, and you know and like I said I'm, I'm a avid wrestling fan I'm going to uh, in Boston here they got the tables ladders and chairs coming up and I'll be going to that. It's uh, the pay-per-view. I, That's <laughs> well, going to be awesome. Monday Night Raw. Oh, dude. Nothing beats nothing beats going to see a bunch of grown men throw metal at each other for four hours. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a spectacle. Oh, I bet. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, like, so that game's coming out, and that game, and that game really looks hot. I mean, it looks good. It's got a lot of, like, really awesome... Uh, the, like the music, the walk downs, everything like simulates the actual entertainment, uh, sports entertainment aspect. Um, I think WWE's really made a good choice going with 2K Gaming on yes. this because uh, they've been, you know, they've been under the the scrutiny for a little bit for with all the stuff that's been going on with their with former wrestlers and all that and all that jazz. But like, uh, I'm I'm really excited to see how great uh this game is gonna be but like beyond that the holiday season coming up and there's more things coming out and uh yes i mean what 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 else can we get into i mean fallout 4 oh dude i was i was just gonna say and that's 
Uh, Fallout 4, I'm, oh, I'm, every day, I'm just, I need, I just can't wait. I mean, it's, 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 I think it's like something like November 10th or something like that. It's beginning of November, it comes out. And it comes, it comes from your town. Uh, it's like post-apocalypse Bastin. <laughs> yeah, um, I was, I, I became a subscriber to this, uh, this box, so I guess I'll give them a free plug. <laughs> for all the hundred people who watch, um, but uh, uh, Arcade Block, which is awesome. I mean, it is great for like nerdy stuff. But the first Arcade Block that I got had a uh, had a like a Fallout Boston pennant for oh, their wow. baseball team. I can't I can't remember what the name of the team was or whatever, but it had the official Boston B the logo, and I'm like, is this? Did they do this because it's coming? And it turns out that it's all part of the game, yeah. which, that, I mean, how cool is that? Like, you actually get to, I don't know, I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah, so well, it you, takes you place in Boston. You get a There's been a lot of games that take place. Of, of, of Boston, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and you get to build your own. You can do that now. Settlement, settle, yeah. <laughs> you can build your own settlements <laughs> in this game. This thing is totally cool. Like, it's a total, it's a total open uh, build world. So you can go on missions, you can just start collecting stuff, build a trading post, an outpost, uh, put turrets. I mean, this so thing cool. is, I mean, it's, it's this is on steroids. And everything in the game, it's not, you know, how you're like, oh, uh, this tin can. Why do, why do they have a tin can you can pick up in the game? You need tin cans because you need the metal. Because when you're, the crafting system, this yep. game is going to be, I mean, I'm not a big guy who likes to click around, like, crafting stuff. But the cool thing about this game is it's like, it's a finding, collecting thing. So it's kind of a, a sandbox on steroids. And it's also got uh, yeah. slottable weapons cool. and uh, where you can build custom weapons mm -hmm. and armor too. So, I mean, it's, as I said, I think if you like any of the other Fallouts, uh, like, you know, 3 and uh, Vegas, I mean, it's it's just those games on steroids. So, Well, that's exciting. I mean, and, and, and furthermore, it's just more into the series. And yes. Every time something comes out, you want, you know, the updated graphics version of the game, and you go back and play the game. There's been a lot of times where you play, like, the older version of the game, and you're and you're kind of like, ah, I wish it wasn't as clunky. I know, like, revisiting games like Resident Evil 1 yeah. or something like that, where where the, the controls are very uh, tank, and they're very clunky and very hard to play with. But what's been beautiful about the Fallout series from start to finish every single time I've gone back to revisit it it's almost like uh, it's almost like Diablo you go back and revisit it and it's awesome yes and uh, I think that's I think that's one of the things that's great about uh, the Fallout series is that when they make these games they make them they build them to last they're like old cars yep I mean, built Fallout to run 3, for a long Vegas, time. They're still very playable. I mean, you can even jump on the old ones. Oh yeah, yeah. Those. I mean, I, I haven't played the first two in a long, long time. So. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, they're <laughs> they're. I mean, unless your computer is able to run them, although they have modified updates and stuff like that. Yeah. But I mean, sometimes you run into problems. So, but that's that's exciting. Uh, we got Fallout. Another Call of Duty. I don't know if we're gonna be. I think you and I are gonna probably yeah, I'll skip feel that. different about this. <laughs> no. Did I just do? Should we even bother talking about it? Well, it's another you know, Call it's, of Duty. It's game. another Call of Duty. What, 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 what more can we say? <laughs> um, well, and and you know, I love the advertisement. Best Call of Duty game to come <laughs> out since last November. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> like it's. It's getting to the point where Call of Duty and like, no offense to the developers and everything, they work hard on these games, so I'm not really cracking wise at them, but it's lazy now. It's just, it's getting boring, and yeah. uh, it might, I mean, it might just be me, but there, I, I mean, I remember picking up in 2007 Modern Warfare and just playing it, and yeah. uh, played, I played in an awesome clan with some awesome guys, and I still, uh, you know, I still talk to some of those guys today what's up my dbd brothers what's going on you guys but uh shout out to brett <laughs> shout out to montoya um uh, but those guys like uh hey, all the people who i didn't shout out shout out to swizzle shout out to i'm not getting into it anyway <laughs> point is uh 
it's it's gotten beat up. It's gotten old. And yeah. you know, I, I, to give me a give me a game where you can get. I, I sound like a cranky old man. Give me a game where you can get. You know. A UAV at three kills, you get an airstrike at five and a helicopter at seven, and I'll be happy. Yeah. There's too much stuff going on in these games, too much modification of weapons, too much... It, it just it starts not making sense anymore, and it starts getting... It, it makes it almost unplayable. This is where this is where they've been falling off, is that you get to a certain point, and you wonder why, you know, this one guy goes out there, you shoot him 20 times, and then... And then you shoot him once, and he shoots you once, and you die. Yeah. It, it, that that that's been happening more and more as this game is beginning more and more progressive. Is they make it easier for younger kids to play it, which they shouldn't be because it's a 17 plus game, and they make it easier and easier. It, it, it's a boring. It's become a boring entity, and uh, they need to do something real big in this game to change it up. And I'm not seeing anything different. They're just like, hey, it's Call of Duty. Buy it. You will. You'll buy it. You know you will. <laughs> you'll wait in line for it. Yes. Not only will you buy it, you'll buy the season pass and yeah. you'll buy the deluxe edition. Exactly. And when you buy the deluxe edition, it comes with maybe a well, part of the season pass, but the rest of it you have to pay for. But you'll buy that too yes. because we're Call of Duty, and that's my problem. It's that's one of those it games. Right there. And I've I've always been, uh, you know. Uh, I'm sucker for the money pit that a game is, and, and as I said, I've had pure, oh, yeah. nothing but pure pleasure coming out of it. But you know, I, I had to switch over when Titanfall came out in 2014. I've been actually still playing that mm. game uh, to kind of get my kick. And then minimum, I mean, I reviewed that game. That game, you know, it's like six dollars, and it's just like a quick and dirty game, yeah. man. And it's and you it, know, it's really it's wicked funny too because I bought that game <laughs> after I watched your review, oh, yes. which is funny because I, I don't typically. <laughs> well, I don't typically do that kind of stuff. I won't run out and buy that game. Like, I watched your review and I was like, I think I need to own that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was like, and 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 it was, and you know, I'm, I love that game. It's minimum. Minimum is was is one of the more perfect games and uh, it's fast paced. Uh, it, it's fast paced. It's really good. The now, levels are designed well. You know, it's yeah, yeah. it's yeah, it's just it's really good. Here's.